All right, everybody. Hello and welcome to Emily Freestyle Friday. My name is Hunted. I will be your host for the evening. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you all are doing well because we've got some pretty fantastic Rocket League to show you tonight. Just noticed my webcam is actually a little low. I gotta sit up, talk to you all, but do want to introduce the map before we get into any action tonight we are playing in probably one of my favorite maps check it out All right, we are into the game and we are getting the action underway between the Sabres and the Bears in this week one, I'm sorry, week one, series number one of week three. And just like that off the kickoff kick puncher, scoring a beautiful goal. I didn't even have a chance to set up my stuff, man. Come on, first goal, two seconds in. Let's just go ahead and throw the scoreboard up there for you. And yeah, already underway with these two teams. I'm sorry we didn't have much of a lead up. Uh, we kind of had to get into the uh, series, but hey, that means that we are just rocking and rolling in Rocket League. I do just want to uh, Make sure that we cover this action as Kick Puncher's gonna score again. I can't believe he even had that as Bepsi or Bape says he is in game. He rotated back and just never even challenged that. I don't know what uh, he thought was gonna happen there, but that is a goal on the board yet again. For the boys in that light blue, the Bears playing against the Sabres. I didn't get much of a chance to introduce the teams. This is a uh, Foundation League match between these teams. Sabres not doing too bad uh, so far this season. As Cardinal looks to try to tack on a goal there. And Kev going to clear that all the way down. Will he make the touch off the wall? No, he's opting to let it bounce out. But here comes Pepsi. He's going to bounce that one up and he's going to score just like that. Sabres inching back closer. One to nothing. I'm sorry. One goal closer. Two to one in favor of the Sabres. And for some reason, my replay is not quite working. I'm going to try to get that to work. But you know what? Technical issues aside, we are here for some Rocket League. So far, so good. As Kevin. Going to play that one down. I don't know what his Discord name is. I think that's 206 Gaming. Yeah, he has 206 on the side. I'll just call him Kevin for now because it's easy to read in game. But that is 206 gaming. I guess I can call him 206. Whatever. People change their names in game all the time. Always throws me off. Cardinal's going to clear that one away. And it's already 2 1 for the Bears in this game. If you look on your screen, the Bears are 8 and 2 with a 2 0 record as this ball is careening towards the goal. 206 doesn't put it in, but there's a miss from Kick Puncher. And another goal. Hey, the replay worked. There we go. So a tying goal. A bit unfortunate there for the Bears. But guess what? The Sabres will take that every single day of the week. They do take that one there. So tied 2 2 with about 3.15 to go. Now that we finally got the. Uh, Finally got the replay to work. I do just want to mention that Balls Garana is our replay sponsor for the evening. And it is the best place you can get ultra-caffeinated soda. Each drink of Balls is crisp and infused with naturally energizing Garana Berry. It's the fuel for fun. Visit mlesports.gg slash recommends slash Balls. If you would like to find out more about that. But 
Falls aside. We've got a tie game, ladies and gentlemen. 2.40 to go. This is the first game of the series. Both teams definitely, definitely want to take this series. Kick puncher. That passes back towards Cardinal. There's 206. Gonna try to bounce around kick puncher. Not gonna find it. Here comes 206. One more, but get away from Cardinal. Now the Sabres getting some offense on the field, certainly. Bit of a change as the Bears went up too early, but a few minutes to go. Sabres have tied it. This is really anybody's game. That's a good pass. Kick puncher's there. It's not gonna be the greatest clear. And 206 is gonna knock it home. That's three unanswered goals by the Sabres. Sabres, and they find themselves in the lead with two minutes and a second remaining. We'll see if the Bears have any answer. Just a bit unfortunate touch there from the defender. That's gonna allow 206 to grab that pass from Pepsi and put it home. Now, Pepsi is a player to watch in this game. If I recall, he was uh, pretty highly ranked last week. I think he won the MVP or was at least on the MVP list for the Foundation League. To be quite honest, so many lists. Can't quite keep up with all of them, but I know that I saw his name. He is definitely a play to watch out for. Let's see if he can make something happen with this as we have. Or 206, I don't know, whatever you want to call him. He's going to make the demo, and now Pepsi putting it in the corner. Cardinal. It's a round one. He's got only Pepsi to beat. Can he do it? He's going to flick it. There's a good save from Pepsi in the follow up from Kick Puncher. A little wide. Now 206, clearing it back down. Cardinal's got to rush back for that one. Misses the touch. 206 has a chance to pass this towards mid. He won't find it as Kick Puncher's going to clear that one away. But with a minute 10 to go, this is what the Bears need. They need a transition onto offense. We'll see if they can get it done here. There's Cardinal off the post. He just missed it wide there, and that's going to be a clear from Pepsi. He's all the way back down the field in transition. High off the wall, looking for 206. It is going to fall down, and Kick Puncher is going to clear it away. So now, 45 seconds just about for the Bears to come back in this one. Both of these teams, eight and two, two and zero oh so far throughout the MLE. This will be a loss for one of these teams this week. First loss, the other will stay undefeated as Cardinal's got a chance and he's gonna go top shelf. What a shot from Cardinal. And he's gonna tie it up with only 30 seconds to go. Betsy in such a terrible position. Just unable to get to clear. He was sideways, couldn't turn his car around. And Cardinal reaching for that goal, putting that one in a perfect position. We have a tie ball game with a minute. No, 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 not a minute, half a minute, 30 seconds in game one to go. As Cardinal's gonna play that out towards the mid, but Kick Puncher just couldn't beat the defender. Now Pepsi gonna make a play. He's gonna pick that over top of Cardinal. That's a flick. Not really out of danger, but Kick Puncher will play this one. Now, we've got to be careful if you're the Bears. Don't want to give up this last second goal. So that's going to come back towards the Sabres end. That's a miss. Here comes Cardinal. Kick Puncher's going to push him out of the way. And we will see overtime in game number one. Three to three as 206 looks to play that one. Cardinal, great play. Oh, he can't quite get the second touch, but that's going to leave it for Kick Puncher. Kick Puncher can't get over 206. And now Cardinal into Pepsi. Pepsi towards the net. That's a good save from Kick Puncher, though. Both teams looking for that opportunity. Right now, the Sabres generating some offense. It's another good block from Pepsi. He is all over defense from the Bears. And 206 can't get it by Kick Puncher. Kick Puncher over driving that one and they know the Sabres defense bumped into each other oh but 206 able to return to the scene of the crime get that ball back now Cardinal towards the goal Pepsi way up high looking for the other touch we'll get it over the defender that's off the back wall can he make a play with this not quite towards the cage that one's gonna bounce down and Cardinal's gonna clear it away so a minute gone in this overtime period. We will play until somebody scores, even if it takes all night. But please don't take all night because we have a lot more Rocket League to do after this first game. And what a close game between these teams thus far. Nobody want to nobody wanting to give an inch right now. But here comes Betsy. He's a chance and he just missed it. That gives Kick Puncher an opportunity, but a good challenge from 206. A risky challenge, but a good one. 
It's still 3-3 three three in overtime. Minute 30 gone by now as Cardinal plays it off the back wall. Kick puncher into the sky. Can he get another touch? He won't get it past 206. Cardinal once again towards the net. Pepsi's got to be careful with that. He did. Indeed, be careful with that ball. It feels like we've only been playing for 15 seconds since I last announced the time, and it felt like a whole minute went by right there. Both of these teams looking for the answer to the other's defense, and Cardinal, can he find it? He does! And just like that, the Bears will come back down 3-2 to two and take this one in overtime. Cardinal, two huge goals to give his team the victory. Congratulations to the Bears. And what a great game from both of these teams. Goodness gracious, we've got plenty more of this Rocket League coming at you for the rest of the night. Again, my name is Hunted. And I am solo casting for the first series. We'll have Sniper Gus joining us later on. But man, what a great game. The Bears really battling back. They were pressured a lot in that original overtime, or uh, uh, in the original minute and a half of overtime. And they fought hard to, uh, to to keep the Sabres off the board as I update the scoreboard real quick. And there we go. Okay. But the Sabres showed some good things there. They definitely played well for the majority. They just unfortunately could not pull out the victory when it mattered. Cardinal pulling out those two clutch goals in perfect position for both of them. And right now, Cardinal, the hero for the Bears. We'll see as this match continues. Who can bring the life to these teams? It is one nothing in favor of the Bears. The Sabres definitely want to answer back. This is a very crucial match, I think, for both of these teams. Both of them 8-2, and two, haven't lost the series yet. Definitely want to Keep that trend going, uh, no matter which team you're on. 206 tries to make a play, and Cardinal will clear it away. Cardinal will try to go one-on-one -on -one with Kev, but it's not going to matter. That one is also cleared into the corner. And Cardinal will chip it back down the field there. One more shot by Cardinal off the post. Can Pepsi clear it away? He will. Close call there for the Sabres, but it's only a close call. No goal on the board yet. Minute gone by in this game, too. The Bears looking to compound their lead. Certainly would like to do that, especially if they can force the Sabres to have to reverse sweep them to win. It will definitely put them in a power position for the rest of this series. Sabres definitely, definitely want a different outcome than that. Kick puncher. He's going to play Pepsi, and kick puncher had an open net with 206 in a very awkward spot. Cardinal trying to play that one. Pepsi. Now kick puncher. Can't get it over top and in. He did get it by the defender. Just not towards the goal as these teams reset. 206 is going to try to clear this one out of his own end. Will do just that. Kick puncher. Now Cardinal. Cardinal. One on one with Pepsi. Good flick from Cardinal and he scores. I was surprised to see that one go in. I thought Pepsi had the angle. But not quite as he couldn't quite get his car turned around. Unfortunate for him. And that one finds the back of the net. So. While I take a drink. one nothing in favor of the Bears. Cardinal. Let's play it off the wall. And that's going to be cleared away by 206. Again, this is a Foundation League matchup. If you are new to the MLE, that pretty much limits the competition. Oh, good play from Kick Puncher. Can he get one more? He won't. As I was saying, Foundation League is one of the new leagues of the MLE this season. It's meant for bronze through platinum players. These are 
As I said, bronze through flat. This series quite good so far. I've been quite happy with Foundation League. In the first couple of weeks, you guys don't know me. I'm, my name is Hunted. I've been doing a lot of the MLE broadcasts. Uh, throughout the first couple of weeks, I've got to see quite a few matchups, not just in the Foundation League, but across all of the different leagues. And it's been a lot of fun thus far. I can't wait as we get closer to playoff time in this shortened season, only seven weeks. This game, though, pretty important for the Bears. Well, actually, pretty important for both teams as Kick Puncher can't quite get to that. That's kind of an overcommit from the Bears. Pepsi is looking to make him pay one on one with Cardinal. Can he return the favor? He won't. As Cardinal gets the better of him there. And Kick Puncher chipping it by. Where's Cardinal? Oh, he's out towards mid. I thought Kick Puncher was pay making the play towards him. He didn't quite find it. Now, Pepsi will clear it away. Cardinal high off the wall. Can he get this touch? Yes, he will. Over one defender. Won't get past Pepsi there. Ball landing down in mid. Here comes Pepsi. He's got an open net. Cardinals there. Good save. Can 206 do anything with this? He tries to go up for it. Won't find the touch. And that ball is going to get cleared away. Minute and five to go. In this one, the Bears up 1 0. Bit low scoring of a game. Bit low scoring of a series thus far. Both teams trying to play solid defense. A couple of missed opportunities, certainly on offense from either side, but to be expected, I think, especially in the Foundation League. As now, Kick Puncher will clear that one down. He's got an opportunity, but good play from 206 covering for his partner. Now in rotation, come the Sabres. That's a great pass. Can Pepsi get up to this one? 30 seconds, that's a good shot. Kick Puncher's there, Pepsi makes the bump. 206 has to make a play, and he sends it wide. That was the best opportunity for the Sabres yet, and this one still might even be better as Pepsi off the post. Here comes 206, and a big save from Cardinal. will keep it 1-0 in favor of the Bears. Can they pull it off? 10 seconds to go. Pepsi has to try to make a play on this. Kick Puncher's going to lob it up. Kevin will keep it. He's going to get bumped. Can he even get to the ball? He can't, and the Bears are going to take game and number two, final score one to nothing. And my goodness, what a game from the Bears, especially towards the end, so clutch from them. Be able to hold on to that one goal lead. That's all they had was that one goal lead. And they certainly made it work for them. So. Ladies and gentlemen, as we move into game three, Bears certainly looking good. Certainly, certainly looking good. Give me one moment, okay. And as for the Sabres, they have opportunities that can't seem to find the back of the net. Unfortunate for them, they can't. But they are getting a lot of opportunities, and I think that's the most important part for them to focus on going into game number three is getting those opportunities and in turning them into scoring chances. They're not quite getting the chances. They're putting weak shots on the net, uh, and sometimes not even on net. Sometimes it's off the net entirely. But we will see as we move into this third game. If they can improve on that. And while we do that, I do want to tell you about uh, our sponsor for today is Power A, creators of innovative gaming accessory products that enhance the world's best video games and mobile technology experiences. This one, oh, close there. Got to keep an eye on the game as I'm doing this. Uh, yeah, visit MLE, MLEsports.gg slash recommends slash Power A. To look at all their controllers headsets and more go check that out guys while you're there might as well check out balls as well as i said before they are our replay sponsors for the evening so please give both of them some of that uh, good old mle love but do it while we're on break okay because we've got a great series right now between the bears and the sabers of the foundation league right now the bears taking a bit of control 2-0 Again, both of these teams are undefeated coming into this. And if you're the Sabres, you want to keep that going. But in order to do that, you got to win the next three in a row. Let's see if they can make it work as Pepsi 
Playing it down. Kick Puncher's gonna boom that one. Good pinch from him. 206, trying to make the play. Kick Puncher's there. Here comes Cardinal. He's got one on one with Pepsi. Pepsi will turn around and make the stop. Now Pepsi playing it down to 206. Can he put something on net? No, he won't. And that's gonna give Cardinal a chance, but he puts it a little far wide. He's gotta make a play. Pepsi gets back in time. We still don't have a goal on the board. And Pepsi, can he do it? He does! Off the post and in. Right out in front. Pepsi getting the pass. I don't know. Did 206? No, 206 didn't even touch that one. It just finds its way to Pepsi, and he'll put that one home. And that's definitely uh, how the Sabres wanted to start this game. Just about a minute and a half gone by. The Sabres putting the first goal on the board. Now, do a six in the corner. Look at him add on some more. He's got Pepsi way in the back. Gonna give this one away to Cardinal. This is dangerous. Pepsi almost overshooting that one, trying to play for the flick. As here comes to a six, he can't find that one. And in transition, the Bears go. Cardinal in the mid. Can't get it over Pepsi. Pepsi playing some solid 1v1 defense right now. And Pepsi will clear it away. Big puncher. Not gonna play that one. Guys, I do want to remind you of the play of the week. If you see a play of the week, or you know, really anything, any cool play that you see that you think should be nominated for play of the week, please do clip that and submit it on the Discord in the play of the week section. As that's a great save, can they get another one? Pepsi almost! Pulls out two huge saves. And I was just going to say, as I was talking about play of the week, if Pepsi could have got that second save. Oh, man, he was so close to having it. Oh, so close there from Pepsi. But it is 1-1 now, 219 to go. But if you do see a play that is worthy of play of the week, please submit it on the Discord. As Cardinal's going to get a round one, Pepsi has to make the play, and he does. Winner of the, the play of the week will win a case of Balls Garana shipped to their house. Which is pretty awesome because if you guys have never tried Balls, it is absolutely amazing. Definitely would recommend. This one getting cleared down from Kick Puncher. Cardinal in the corner. Can he make another touch? Pepsi will play it. We have tried to rotate back to, to put a touch on that one, but... Nothing doing there, so 1-1. One, one. Again, a close game in this series. As Kick Puncher's gonna get around the defender. Pepsi gonna turn around and try to make the play. Good play from him. As Cardinal can't quite find the touch. One thing I have noticed about the Sabres, they're finding themselves in some hot water, uh, typically because of a poor challenge. Um, they're picking kind of poor times the challenge and then sometimes they're not even getting touches as Cardinal almost chips that one around Pepsi and it's important in these challenges to get touches at least to force a 50-50 so that was almost kind of a double commit there from the Sabres but it might work out Big Puncher will get up in the air and clear that one away still got the ball in mid Pepsi pushing it back Sabres haven't been able to find any offense it's Credit to the Bears, I think. They've been playing good clearance. Rocket League, if you will. 35 seconds to go. Cardinal in transition. Can he make a play? No. He will go just underneath that one and get demoed. From behind, from 206, first demo of the game, I believe. I don't think we've seen a demo this series so far. 206 will play it in the corner. There's about 20 seconds to go. Can one of these teams break the tire? Will we see overtime yet again in this series? Second game of three. Potentially, we'll see overtime. Five seconds now. Ball in orange corner. Assuming nothing crazy happens, we will see overtime. Yes, we will. So we are into overtime now. One to one. We'll see. The Sabres need this overtime victory to keep their hopes of winning this series alive as 
206 gets it up. Kick Puncher's gonna make a touch. 206 is still there, and he'll put it home. And there we go, the Sabres taking their first game of the series in game three, and they've got some life. As we move into the rest of the series, and a great play from 206 to stay with that one. Not giving up on the play, even though Kick Puncher had a good touch to try to clear it away. He stayed with it and found the back of the net. So good work from him to make that one happen. The Sabres will take their first game of the series. Wouldn't say it was in convincing fashion. But it was in... Whoops. Sorry about that. There we go. Now we should have the caster cam. But hey... All I'm going to say is that the Sabres are on the board. And if they can if they can win one game, they can try to compound that into two games. And then compound two games into three games, and boom, there's your serious victory. It starts with the next play. It starts with the next kickoff. starts with the next shot, the next save. You don't want to be thinking too far ahead. You want to stay in the moment if you're the Sabres. And right now, they're doing a good job of that. Good job, certainly, of that. So, as we move into game four, we'll see if they can keep that mentality. Move forward in the series. Let's get into the action. Game four between the Sabres and the Bears are underway now. That's a good save from Bepsi, and bepsi has been making a ton of saves. I don't know quite how many. I think it was seven or eight saves from Pepsi last game. He is definitely the rock for this team on defense. Let's see if he can keep it up. As Pepsi will clear it away now. Cardinal off the back wall. No six. Can he get another touch? He will. And Kick Puncher can't make the save. Goal early for the Sabres is exactly what they need. Exactly what they needed in game three. They got it and needed it in game four. They found it again. So we'll see. Can they repeat their performance from the last game and try to tie up this series going into game five? It's going to take more than a goal, I have a feeling. As Kev's going to put another one in. And that's too early on for the Sabres. Only 40 seconds in. Already two. This is much better performance in the early game from them than we've seen all series. I will say both of those goals a bit, uh, I'm not going to call them fluky, but a bit unreliable. Like, those are not goals you're going to score all the time. They were kind of kickoff goals. The uh, Bears didn't get into rotation in time. And they were just kind of quick in the back of the net kind of goals. But this one's going to careen towards the net. And just like that, the Bears will find one of their own almost kind of unreplicatable goals. That one goes off the sidewall and will find its way into the back of the net. So one goal game now, 357 to go. Cardinal is one on one with Kev. That's just a bit high. Kick Puncher's going to throw this one towards the net again, and Pepsi will make yet another save. So many saves for Pepsi in this one. Got to go off the wall looking for the touch. Can he find it? Cardinal making a play. That one's up in the air. Now Kev. Off the wall. Pepsi will find it. That's a great touch from Pepsi. Put them back up from by two. He read the defense well. New Cardinal is going to try to challenge him right here. And just dinked it in on the side. He made that play in a hurry, which is fantastic. Exactly what you want to do in that situation. But now, it's up to the Bears to try to respond to this. They have plenty of time. Three minutes, 25 seconds to go. The puncher's going to push Kevin out of the way. And this one could be an opportunity for Cardinal. Pepsi will clear it away from him. Now, Cardinal has to play defense, trying to... Play on Betsy. Oh, you couldn't get around Kick Puncher. 
That's really close from him. Here comes 206, and he's going to score. And the Sabres are starting to dominate this match now. They have a three-goal lead with about three minutes to go. It's certainly not impossible. Obviously, as the Sabres have been able to put four up before halftime, it's not impossible for the Bears to come back. But right now, the offense really showing from the Sabres. They want to push this into game five only uh, with, with the score line of two to two. Right now, they are doing a wonderful job of that. This 206 is going to give Cardinal so much space. He's going to let Pepsi go for that one. That's a bit weird. You don't really see that. Got players kind of uh, trading spaces, I guess. But maybe Pepsi just thought he had a better angle on it. And it, it, it worked. They're in the Bears' territory now. As 206 will boom that one across the goal mouth. And will be cleared away from by Cardinal over top. Both defenders, actually, and Cardinal going to get the touch towards mid. Won't find it turned the wrong way, unfortunately. Now, kick puncher, that's not the greatest touch because you know your teammate's not out in mid. We're not playing 3v3, so there's no third guy. Kind of gives the ball to the Sabres, but no harm done as the Bears are back on offense. Cardinal will keep it in the zone. They've got two minutes, and they need to find three. See if they have it in them in this fourth game. Off the back wall. Pepsi can't find the touch. Now 206 is the only one back. That's off the wall, and there's Cardinal to follow it up. And that's a good team play there from Kick Puncher. Bit of a, a poor decision, I think, in net by 206 to let that ball pass him instead of challenging it along the wall immediately. But... There it is, so the lead is now only two and there's a minute 45 to go. Kick Puncher's gonna put that towards the net. 206 will have to make the play. It's gonna come off the wall. Cardinal's up in the air, but he pushes that one wide. As there are 90 seconds remaining for the Bears to score two, make that three as Betsy goes below the defender that time. Well, find the back of the net and the Sabres offense has really been clicking in this game. Putting up five goals. I'm not sure how many goals they've scored. They had three in the first one, zero in the second. How many goals did they score in the in the third game? Was it only two? Did it finish two to one? I can't remember. Yeah, because we went into overtime 1-1. So yeah, they've scored as many goals in this fourth game as they have the entire other three games. Have the Sabres. And hey, it's not a knock on them. That means that they've got the momentum going on offense now. We'll see if they can compound this into a win. And potentially, and there's Betsy again going up in the air and punishing the Bears. Now it's a four-goal game, and I want to say all of the momentum in this game now rests in the hands of the Sabres. Betsy doing a wonderful job. Of that, I'm not sure how many goals he's scored. Hopefully the camera will pan over to one of their players. We can check out their goal stats. Arnold looking to make the play. Arnold does have both goals for his team in this game as Kev tries to put that towards the net. Just whiffs it. The 40 seconds goal to go. Four goals down and yeah, Pepsi and Kevin or 206, whatever you want to call him. They both have a hat trick in this game. So the goal is being shared by teammates. It's good to see. We'll see if they can tack on another one. Won't be able to find it. Across the goal mouth there. And Pepsi just being a nuisance. He will. No, he won't. He missed that ball. That was a free goal. Thank goodness that didn't really mean much. I mean, goal differential and everything is important. But it wasn't the difference between the series. Although that will lead to kick puncher. It ends up being a two-goal swing for the boys in blue. That's good for the Bears. Bit kind of heartbreaking there if you're Pepsi. But you know what? Right now, all they care about is winning this series, I would have to say. And they're doing a great job. We are going to go into game five with the score two to two.
And really, this series could go just about either way. I, I, I'm really having trouble calling this one. The Sabres need to keep up that offensive pressure. They really do need to keep up the offensive pressure if they want any hope of winning this fifth game. Because once they get that offense rolling, they've proven that they are hard to stop. But the Bears, on the flip side of the coin, once they get the solid defense... And they really start to hamper the Sabres. They push these games into overtime or, or right to the last minute where low-scoring games seem to favor the Bears. They're not the flashiest offensive team. And they haven't found a lot of goals, but when they can start to limit the Sabres, they always seem to get those kind of important key goals to uh, just kind of give them the edge over their opponents. So with three seconds left, in the countdown we are finally loading into the fifth map on urban central i do love this map it is nice it's kind of calming i don't know about you guys but well hold on we're not quite in the game yet once we get into the game i'll start talking about it. there we go we are transitioning into the game but if you look at the map i love the rain outside on urban central it's just kind of like a relaxing Although, when you score a goal, it completely, completely does away with the relaxation part. As you get the loud train siren. Well, I guess not anymore. It depends on what your goal thing is, but that's what it used to be. Just kick Puncher and Cardinal teaming up, and that's a great team play. To score that first goal. So the Bears on top, and this is the exact opposite of what happened in the last two games. That the Sabres won. The Sabres were on the board early in both game three and four. They won both of those games. We'll see if that has any effect as Pepsi wants to put that towards the goal. Kick puncher will clear it away. And you gotta imagine for this team playing down by a goal and playing up by a goal are two completely different feelings. There's still plenty of time. We haven't even crossed the minute mark in this game yet. It's no time to panic for the uh, Sabres. They have plenty of time to work with, although Kick Puncher's looking to make this a second. He'll put that off the back wall. Here comes Cardinal on net, and he'll score. And just like that, the Bears answering back from the last two losses. Put themselves up by two before we even played the first minute. So... A lot on the line for both of these teams. As I said, both teams coming into this, if you look on the bottom of your screen, both of these teams coming into this with the exact same record, 8-2, and two, both winning two, both of their series so far, coming into week three. And the winner of this will certainly be happy with their position. I would feel going into week four and beyond. It's not a long season. That ball's going to bounce out. Here comes Kev. Oh, he puts it wide. He had such an opportunity, and he just tapped it wide. Unfortunate for him. And that's going to be one they're kicking themselves over. That's got to be in the net. Kick Puncher's going to push this one towards 206, and he will clear it away. He's going to go off the wall, firing it down the field. Kick Puncher. Now 206. Do have three minutes and ten seconds remaining, so still a lot of time for the Sabres. Definitely a lot of time, but Bears are pressuring on offense right now. This is what I was saying. If the Sabres can't find their offense, the Bears' defense is certainly a formidable foe. And they have a lead. We'll see if Pepsi and 206 can crack the code in this game. As Pepsi opting to let this ball play. Kick puncher back to Cardinal. Can they score another one like that? They do. Is that the that is the third goal from Cardinal? All three of their goals have been on these back wall little tap passing plays. I mean, the first one had a bit of a cross pitch touch, but it wasn't really. I mean, it, it more originated from the back wall. And now the Bears are up by three. Two. 40 to go and I think now if you're the Sabres you are in full attack mode looking for that next touch to put your team on the board Pepsi will clear it away he's 
Gonna grab the boost and try to challenge this one. It will keep it into bear territory. Cardinal. Up the wall. Can he push this one towards the front? Won't find it. That's 206. We'll clear it away. Now Cardinal, one more. Up and over top. Here comes Kick Puncher. Ooh, what a save from 206. Forcing that one into the crossbar, but the Bears still have the offensive pressure, and there's only two minutes to go. The Sabres need three goals. They can't waste too much time playing defense in their own end. They've got to find a clear. There's Pepsi. He's going to keep it away from his teammate. Goes up the sidewall, pushes it back down, gets a touch. Can't get it past Cardinal, though. Will rest in the blue corner. That ball's up in the air. Kev. Oh, will be played by Cardinal. Cardinal right into Pepsi. Can Pepsi make a touch on this one? No. Kick puncher keeping it in. And with only a minute 30 to go, this is so good from the Bears right now. Although that ball is open and free. Pepsi will put it home. And that is a free goal. As soon as I say the Bears are looking good right now, the overcommitment on offense, maybe a bit of overconfidence. And the Sabres will find the board. So, Pepsi scoring that long range open netter good on him for uh, making sure he hit the net with that ball. Certainly know it can be a bit nerve wracking when you know the goal is open and all you have to do is hit it. A minute to go, let's see, can the Sabres rally? That's a good pinch from 206. It will force Cardinal all the way back into his own end. He's gonna try to get a touch, won't get it past Pepsi for now. Pepsi's still challenging Cardinal. Another challenge from Pepsi there. And 206 will clear it around. It's going to go right out in front. What a save from Kick Puncher. Robbing 206 of a goal there. Now Cardinals in transition. And 40 seconds to go. That ball really needed to find the back of the net for the Sabres. They still have time though. They just have to score with time remaining to allow for that last second potential. As Pepsi. Playing that one gets bumped. It will be cleared away. 20 seconds now. Cardinal down into the orange corner. Cardinal trying to play this one across. Pepsi's going to challenge him. Good play from Cardinal. And Kick Puncher's going to put the dagger in. That is going to do it for this series, ladies and gentlemen. The Bears hibernating in games three and four. Wake up for game five. And they're going to take this series three to two over the Sabres. But you got to say... It was well played. Well played all around. Everybody involved. But the Bears will hold on to their undefeated streak in the MLE this season. MLE season eight. They will go three and uh, three and oh. Ten and four, I believe, will be their actual record. The Sabres will drop to two and one. Nine and five. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The first match of the evening, Foundation League Bears and Sabres. We couldn't have asked for a better match. But the funny thing is, is that every match tonight should be, hopefully, almost exactly like this match. A very good series. Both teams very evenly matched and playing for a lot in their respective series. But we are going to take just a quick break. Won't be too long, I promise. We will come back. Don't you worry. We will definitely come back and bring you some more action. Let me see who's next on our list. Right, it is the Premier League Hurricanes versus the Dodgers. And I should have Snipe Gus with me for that series. So anyways, guys, don't go anywhere. We'll bring you to more Rocket League in just a moment. 